Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous tutorial, we have discussed what is RAM and ROM, and then we have discussed bootstrap and uh, startup of a computer. So in this uh, tutorial, we will discuss what is RAM chip and what is ROM chip. So let us start our discussion. First, we will try to discuss RAM chip. Here, as you can see, in RAM chip, there will be five input: chip select one. Chip select two, then read, write, address of seven bit, and output will be uh, eight bit. Output as well as input. Why this, this will be the bidirectional because we can use RAM to store data as well as uh, to read the data. Okay, means read write operation both can be performed. So that is the reason that this is bidirectional. Now uh, this bit address okay address bit or you can say the bits uh, in the address okay it will depends on the size of the ram okay so let's say if you are having uh, 256 cross 8 okay then uh, instead of 7 there will be 8 8 bit why because 2 raised to 8 256 here what is the meaning of this ram here 128 represent the total number of location inside RAM chip and this represent the uh, total number of bit that we can store or the bit uh, which we can store on each location okay so here 128 cross 8 means we are having total 128 location and on each location we can store the 8 bit now uh, read and write read will be used to read the data uh, from ram or uh, means to transfer the data from ram to outside world and uh, write will be used to uh, transfer the data from outside world to ram okay so read and write operation this chip select one cs1 and another is cs2 bar okay so we have to make sure this circuit this ram will be selected whenever value of this both cs1 and cs2 will be one okay so here we have to give 0 as an input okay so this 0 will be inverted to 1 and uh, here the input to first chip select should be given 1 okay so if we will give 1 0 then it will be selected now let us try to prepare the function table okay so in first case let's say uh, this cs1 and cs2 we will consider cs1 and cs2 so if both are 0 0 and two more uh, parameters will be there here read and write okay so whatever may be the value of read and write but if both are zero then this RAM chip will be in high impedance state or you can say uh, disconnected state clear okay so high impedance state okay next what will happen 0 1 so in this case also whatever may be the input it will be in high impedance state okay uh, we will discuss about 1 0 at last but let's see discuss about 1 1 Okay, so if input to CS1 and CS2 is 1, 1, then uh, whatever input is there for read and write, it will be again in high impedance state. Clear? Okay, now let us discuss about 1, 0. Okay, so if we discuss about 1, 0, and let's say value of read write is 0 0 then again it will be in high impedance state okay so if none of the operation is specified whether we want to perform read or write okay uh, then uh, this ram chip will be disconnected from the bus now 1 0 let's say 0 1 so in that case 0 1 means write so write operation will be performed so whatever address is specified using 7 bit address okay 
and whatever data is placed into the data bus. So using that address, this 8-bit data will be stored inside the RAM. Okay. Let's go with the another possibility. One zero. Okay. Or uh, here, read operation will be performed. And last one, one one. Okay. So if read and write both are enabled, then read will be given higher priority. And again, read operation will be performed. Okay, so this is how a RAM chip will work. Okay, so the two uh, important uh, you can say parameters are let's say chip select means this two chip select and read and write input. Okay, it will specify that which kind of operation will be performed in uh, RAM chip. Now, if we discuss about ROM chip, okay, now here what is the size of ROM chip? Five one two cross eight. That means we are having how many location 512 location okay and in each, on each location how many bits we are storing 5 bits okay so if you want to calculate the size of RAM then 512 cross 8 that number of bits will be uh, that number of bit will be stored inside the uh, ROM okay so here it is ROM sorry for my mistake here it is ROM okay now here if we try to find out the difference between ram and rom okay then here you can see uh, there will be only three input chip select one chip select two okay and nine bit address here uh, in rom there won't be any read or write input why because as soon as we will select the rom and uh, whatever address will be specified using that address automatically content will be transferred into the bus okay here we are not performing any write operation so the arrow is outward now uh, again uh, this is same as ram if we want this rom chip to work okay then the value of chip select 1 should be 1 and the value of chip select 2 should be 0 clear so uh, whenever this uh, let's say value of chip select is 0 0 cs1 and cs uh, sorry cs2 and cs1 so this will be 0 0 then this rom chip will be in high impedance state then whenever it will be uh, 0 1 okay then uh, it will be again in high impedance state whenever it will be 10 then it will be connected and read or data transfer data transfer operation will be performed and whenever again it is 1 1 then it will be in high impedance state okay clear with this okay so now let us uh, try to create a memory map okay so uh, how a memory address will be uh, uh, mapped okay and uh, how a connection with the CPU will be uh, done so this both thing we will discuss into the uh, next address so what let me tell you uh, very quickly that what is memory address map memory address map will specify the starting address and ending address for each chip now normally what happens whenever we will try to implement any uh, uh, memory primary memory okay so it, it won't be it won't consist only ram uh, okay it may consist some portion may con consist a rom means permanent data storage okay so uh, we have to uh, develop an addressing scheme in such a way that that it will work in uh, a combination of ram as well as rom okay so uh, in this tutorial we will keep up to this in next tutorial we will create the memory address map and then we will try to establish the connection between various component of uh, cpu and uh, memory memory means we will try to connect this four ram chip and one rom chip uh, with cpu and how addressing will be done okay so in this tutorial we will keep up to this thank you